Well, hi, food friends. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm Kevin. And I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And here we are, another year and another project in the kitchen. And today, we're making bread. Wow. And um, Not as daunting as it sounds, right? Not really. And you know what? We, get, we hear from a lot of friends, and we love to hear from you at Cavalcade of Food. Um, and a number of people had said, hey, why don't you guys do bread? Well, there's as, about as many different types of bread in the world as there are people. And that's what's so beautiful about it. But I thought, let's start with just basics. So you know what we're going to do, Ralph? We're going to just make a basic white bread. Okay. Okay. Um, this recipe will make two loaves. Let me show you what, and this is so simple. And yeah, what are the basic flour, ingredients here? Flour, of course. Now, this is flour that's sort of made for bread. Um... You could use all-purpose flour if you want. I like the bread flour because it has a little bit more gluten in it, and we'll get to that. Sugar, salt, oil, yeast, honey, water. That's it. Really? Okay. Now, you can find a lot of recipes for white bread. Some have milk um, in it. Some have got other little things. This is just a real simple recipe. So in total, it's, again, it's going to make two loaves. We're going to use about seven cups of flour. And don't you need to use some kind of a mixer for this? Well, you can. And you know what? Maybe down the road, we'll, we're going to do a whole bread series, and we're going to do more bread. Different varieties. Good. And we'll use, if you have a sturdy mixer, like a KitchenAid, something like that, you can use that. You could even use a food processor. Really? But you know what? We've been making bread for thousands of years right here using our hands and that's what we're going to start I think we're going to start at the absolute most basic so if you have bowls and spoons and your hands you can make bread like you said every culture has their uh, their version of bread and bread is the staff, staff of, life. of life so absolutely. good thing to start our new year's off on absolutely um so okay so here's what we've got i've got three and a half cups of flour in this big bowl okay, okay? And to that, we're going to add a few things. Yeast. Two packages That's easy of to yeast. find at the grocery store. Uh, matter of fact, it's right by where they sell the flour. They'll sell yeast. This is a... Um, yeah, is there anything special? This is like know? a fast-acting yeast. That's what I like to use. Um, so three and a half cups of flour, two packages of yeast. Yeast, right. Okay. Now, we're going to add more flour to that, but this is what we're starting with. Sugar. One, the bread needs... You want the bread to have a little sweetness to it. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. But the other thing you need to know is yeast is a living organism. And it actually needs sugar. It feeds on sugar. Now it's starting to sound like a science fiction it movie. Is. <laughs> now we need a little salt too, of course. And I'm going to put in one tablespoon of salt. Okay. Okay. And this is just regular... You know, granulated salt. So a little more sugar than salt. To help make the bread um, a little richer and to help the elasticity, the gluten, we're going to add some oil. Two tablespoons. One, two. Okay. Gotcha. Then finally... So that's just vegetable oil? Just vegetable oil. Then we're going to use honey. And I know we already put sugar in, but this honey is more to make it sweet because the sugar is um, yeah, the sugar is even gonna, sweeter than sugar. Right, and didn't you say the sugar was more to do something uh, chemical? Feed the yeast, and the honey will do the same thing. But I'm going to put in a, a nice tablespoon of honey so that you get a little taste of it. Yeah, and this is our wonderful honey from our friend Roger. Roger. Sir who is a beekeeper, and we love Roger, and every Christmas, we all get, come on, honey our, bear. Our own special little uh, containers of honey in a honey bear from his... Uh, from Harriet Street. From his bee farm. Yeah. There we go. Up there in St. Clair, Michigan. Now, we're going to add our hot water. Now, this is not boiling hot. This water is between 120 and 130 degrees and how much so it's water? really warm water this is like two and a quarter cups this is going to help activate that yeast 
because the, again, yeast is a living organism, and it's sort of just dry, in a dried out form. It's sort of dormant Inner, in, inert. in the packets, and this warm uh, water and the sugar and the honey is going to bring that yeast Back to time. life. So what yeast does is it's really kind of a bacteria, I think, and when when it eats the the sugars it gives off carbon dioxide which creates is the gas. gas so that's what so gets it's very gassy so it creates, <laughs> but, it's the air the but, airiness of the bread exactly that and then that that gas pushes the gluten in the flour is what's elastic so you have these little balloons being created inside the bread that make it rise and give bread so, that airiness. So that's what the yeast is doing. I never exactly. I thought we might have to call it the National Guard and get a. Uh, no, it's not an attack. It's not a monster movie. Okay, so here we go. Interesting. So we're going to give this a good stir for a minute or so. We want all that incorporated. And I don't know how your sniffer is. I'm a little stuffed up because I'm get, get, coming old, oh, just getting over a cold. But can you smell that yeast? Yeah. It almost reminds me of uh, a little bit of like beer, like hops. Yes, almost. yes, exactly. That's so probably why people can use beer bread or make beer bread and use a, a can of beer to make their bread, right? Exactly, and a lot of people do. Beer is often used like in making a quick bread. A quick bread is a bread that's made without yeast. Um that uses a leavener like a baking soda or baking powder right. like biscuits okay so you're not using a mixer you're doing everything by hand we're doing is, it by uh, hand which is old, old school style. Yeah, very old school. much so all right now what i've done is i preheated the oven to 200 degrees i'm turning it off okay what's that for this is going to be our warm place where we're going to put the dough so that it rises. Okay. Oh, so that's a key uh, factor too. You need a warm place yeah. after the uh, after the bread has been mixed properly and, and kneaded. Yep. So okay. Now what we're going to start doing is we're going to add in the rest of our flour. So we're going to use about seven cups of flour total. There's three and a half in there. So we're going to add a cup at a time. So now I put flour in a bowl because it's just easier for me yeah. to rather than deal with the bag. I'm digging in the bag. Yeah. So okay. So, so it's important to like add it um, gradually. Is yep. what you're saying? A cup at a time. This is how I do it. One, it just helps get everything mixed in and avoids making a huge mess. It's hard to um, don't wear black when you're making bread because unless you're, you're, gonna, you're just going to get covered Unless you're flour. really really a gothic bread maker. Yeah, that's true. You might be. You might be really goth. So, and you might want to wear black. Then just wear an apron. So, we're going to... So, that was four and a half cups. This is also a great workout, by the way. Four and a half cups. Good for that upper... Uh, Upper body strength that gives you some muscles. What are we listening to, by the way? It's kind of kind of groovy, kind of groovy, kind of <laughs> jazzy, kind of pizzazz. It's the the drummer Sandy Nelson instrumental album from the fifth, uh, late fifties, early sixties. I'm loving it. In beat makes you want to do the frug. Yeah. <laughs> and the boogaloo, maybe a little shingling while you make your bread. So it's gonna. You need a big bowl, obviously, to uh, do yeah. that. Now, you could, if you just wanted to make one loaf of bread, you could cut this recipe in half. So you've done bread enough times to know, um, to when you, you know, to do it by hand, uh, what the consistency should feel like, and what your, um, you know, how you're adding and keeping track of your counts. Right. So, sure. so this is going to make six and a half cups of flour. Okay. Now the last half cup. I'm not going to put in the bowl. The last half cup we're going to actually knead in because we're going to use that on the board. Oh, to keep it um, keep it from sticking. sticking. So in here, now at some point what I do is I try to get this dough to take in as much of this flour as I can with the spoon and then we switch tools. 
So by taking in as much of the dough as possible, you just like mixing it? Yeah, I'm mixing with the flour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off and use the spatula now. Because what I want to do is I want to see scrape the side of that bowl down. And I want to get... So the big wooden spoon is good for the... the per, initial the, mixing. The initial mixing. The spatula is good for getting all the last bits. I want to scrape the side of the... Because we're going to want to get all that flour incorporated. And it will take it in. And it's just a question of doing it. Giving it the time to mm -hmm. do it. It takes to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish getting this flour incorporated. We'll come on back. We're going to get the flour down on the board. And we're going to do our kneading. All right? We're making homemade so I've taken bread. I've taken the dough out of the bowl. And this is my last. So there's six and a half cups of flour in this dough ball. Here's another half a cup of flour, which will give us seven. And I'm using, I'm going to use this half a cup of flour on the board here as we need. So this is an important part of the process. This is where, frankly, you know, I do like to use my um, mixer. Because this is more labor intensive. It is. It, but, you know, there's a part of it that, frankly, feels really good. This yeah. is... Um, and you know as it as it takes the flour I'm just going to put more and more down um, so here's really connects you to the it does the to the food and the food and the history of something so basic and what I'm doing is see let me roll the sleeve up a little bit I'm taking the my palm and pushing it into the dough rotating it and pulling it back pushing it back into the center see and then bringing it back into itself yeah. So you push it out, pull it back, turn. I do that sometimes when I'm chewing gum. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and speaking of that, it you know what? It feels... Does it have a gummy consistency? It, it has a stickiness, which when it's kneaded to the right point, it will lose that stickiness. Now this is something that is very hard to describe and one has to just you know what make bread and do you will get you'll know by the feel of the dough do it a few times yeah when it's kind of at its point where the kneading is done because what you want is you want the dough to stop being sticky and become very silky and satiny how do you know if you've gone too far does it if it yeah you stops? can over knead just you just kind of have to pay attention. And I guess pay the, attention to your dough. And the measurements too help because you well, know you've got a certain amount of um, power, uh, flour to use, and yeah, just kind of measure, you know, keep kind of keeping up, up with that measurement. But you know, let the, the dough will tell you. Like I said, when it's it's starting to, this normally takes oh seven to ten minutes. Okay, so if you're really actively kneading your dough here. So the dough so will tell you. The he's dough will tell you. He's talking to the dough. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep on kneading the dough. And then we'll come on back when we're ready when we for the dough see. to kind of hang out and start proofing. All right? All right. We'll talk more about that later. So we're making white bread from scratch. I thought about playing some music by the group Bread, especially the song Baby I'ma Need You. <laughs> <laughs> we hear enough of them on pop radio. Yeah, and, uh, of all the records Baby we have, I'm need you. I think that's wasn't that one of their songs. Baby, I'm a need yeah, you. Baby, I'ma want you. Um, Maybe but, it's Baby, I'ma want you. Yeah, but I know it says Baby, I'ma I'm need, need you. you. And uh, and then we have what's her name with the comedian with the uh, I'ma be me. Um, but of all the records we have, that's actually one I don't think we have uh, that we own. I don't know if we have that one or not. Okay, I'm about done here. So it's been, oh, eight minutes, I guess, nine minutes. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take our... I can see the difference. It can looks, you see? It's, it's sort it's of satiny. Well, it's more consistently holding together and not as, um, not as gummy looking. So now I'm going to take our big bowl. This is what we mixed it in. Now you can either take butter, margarine, whatever you have. Look what I'm doing. Bring back memories of kindergarten and playing with paste. Yeah. Finger painting. 
we're going to smear the bowl here. So just get, get the bowl good and um, coated, coated with just a film of butter and margarine. And then we're going to take our dough ball. Oh, I didn't get to show the people that part. You wiped your hand on the big dough ball. But you see what I did? I put it in and I flipped it. Yeah. So that you've got a little bit on the top. So that the whole ball is covered and that's right. why you were able to kind of wipe your hand on it. Now what we're going to do, let me just get a, my hands a little greasy. Uh, we're going to do what we call proofing. So I'm going to take a piece of saran, plastic wrap, and... Oh, here, there's a thing. Where's um, it? Wait, wait, wait. There's a thing where you can slide it. Oh, aren't we high classed? All right. So, thank you. We're just going to lightly put that over. So it doesn't have to be airtight. No, it doesn't have to be airtight. We're going to put it in a warm, dark place. So no light? No light. Okay. We'll come back in about 50 minutes to so an hour. So about an hour's past. And we're going to get our, oh, look. Doing its thing? See how nice and fluffed up it is? All so right. it's like doubled in size, double plus. So we're gonna come on over here. Now, again, like I said, this is its first proofing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wrap off here. Then, see how it deflates? Oh yeah. We're going to take our dough, I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, and that's how you get two loaves out of it? Yep. So you just kind of eyeball it and make it yep. half and half. So we're going to take, now before I do that, I got two bread pans here. We're going to give a quick spray with a little nonstick spray. If you didn't want to use nonstick spray, could you just kind of butter the pan yeah, or something? Yeah, you, you could. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to kind of shape this, get this in sort of a rectangular shape. Okay. See, I'm bringing the bottom together. I'm going to kind of pinch it. I can tell you've done this before. And in the pan, she goes. What did you call this proofing? Proofing. So how long does it have to proof the second time? About another hour. 50 minutes or so. Now I'm actually going to put, I'm going to do a little spray on the, on the saran because what will happen, again we're sort of loosely covering this, is that when it rises you don't want it to you stick. You don't want so. it to stick. Uh, you want it to be able to, I finally figured out how this works. Okay. So we're going to, so when it does rise, the saran wrap can come right off the top. Because what we're going to do, is so we're going to put this back in the oven now. Just a warm oven, not a heated oven, right? Right, just a warm oven. And again, I just turned it to about 200 degrees, then turned it back off, just so that it's nice and warm. And dark. And dark. Okay, yeah. so look, right. you can see our uh, loaves have risen in the bread pans. Uh, so they've proofed a second time. <clears throat> I so turned the oven up to 400 degrees, and it's important to get them right in there quickly. Yeah, we're going to get them right in here, and we're going to put them in here for anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes, and come on back, okay? So that's it, and then we'll have bread, nice warm bread, waiting and the, for us. And the, the house, end. and the house will smell really good. Well, Wonderful. it's been about 25 minutes. Boy, does the kitchen smell great! Oh, the whole house. So mm, now here's look good. what we want to check. Should be sort of a hollow sound. That's what you want. You put these little mitts on here because he's. Red so pans are hot. hot. So we're going to take these out. Now, I like to get them out of the bread pan relatively quickly. Oh, look at 
how easy they come out. You see the bottom there? Yeah, that's a good sign, right? Uh, see how and nice toasty. and golden it is? And that's, of course, why we sprayed the pan first. Now, how long, how long do they need to cool before you can uh, cut into them? Ooh. Oh, probably a good half an hour at least. So, we're going to let those cool. And we have two beautiful loaves of bread. Um, this is great. This bread is great. This white bread is great for sandwiches. It's great, great for French toast. It's great for bread pudding. Um, Croutons, I yeah. bet. Uh, there's, I mean, this is just a good basic white bread. I bet it's good just warm with some butter with on butter it. With butter on it. And honey. Great toasted mm -hmm. with butter and maybe a little cinnamon sugar. If you ever want to go back to your childhood, try a slice of this with butter and cinnamon sugar. Anyways, so it's kind of basic. Next time we'll do something with bread, like uh, maybe a. We can do a whole wheat. We could do an olive bread. Yeah. There's a lot of Variations. ways we can go. A rye bread, but um, this like I said, good. you can use equipment. This was really handmade. So, uh, anyways, thanks for being a part of this one. Hands on bread. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. And we'll see you next time. On Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye-bye.